Welcome to the LDS Mental Health Podcast. This is a podcast for faithful women who want healing in their relationships, guidance from God, and internal peace. Each week, you'll hear mental health concepts taught through a spiritual lens from me, a licensed clinical mental health counselor, to help you start thinking in a higher and holier way. Welcome back to the 12 Days of Christ Connections. We are on the seventh day of identifying strategies to make long-lasting connections with the Savior to build your relationship with Him. Today's Christ Connection is to focus on small and simple actions. What I see most women working with doing is coming up with this big, giant strategy to cover everything they need to be doing. Then when they can't accomplish the big giant plan, they stop doing it altogether. And as a therapist, I call this all or nothing thinking. I especially see this when making connections with Christ. I love how this concept is stated in Alma 37.6. It says, now ye may suppose that this is foolishness in me, but behold, I say unto you by small and simple things are great things brought to pass. In small means, in many instances, doth confound the wise. God is telling us that it is through small and simple things that great things are brought to pass. Elder Christofferson also counseled us in this concept too. He said, to deal with something very big, we may need to work at it in small daily bites. Incorporating new and wholesome habits into our character or overcoming bad habits or addictions most often means that an effort today followed by another tomorrow and then another, perhaps for many days, even months or years, but we can do it because we can appeal to God for the help we need each day. I know sometimes we look at big problems in our lives and feel like the solution must match the size of the problem. And it can feel counterintuitive to do something way smaller than the size of the problem. But think about it. If you're already struggling and your energy is depleted from being concerned about this problem, then you're going to have limited ability to do something very big. It's really about doing things that seem so simple that they become a part of who you are and what you do. They are habits that stick with you easily. So what is one small and simple action you can take today that brings you closer to the Savior? I even included an actions section in the Seeking Personal Revelation Journal so you can write these actions down and follow up with them later. So you can grab your journal, also uh, the Seeking Personal Revelation Journal, in the link in my show notes. All right, I'll see you tomorrow for day eight. Thank you for listening to the LDS Mental Health Podcast. I hope you were able to find ways of healing, guidance, and peace. If you liked this episode, please share it with a friend who would love to start thinking in a higher and holier way as well, or hit that follow button so you don't miss out on any episodes. Also, check out the links in my show notes for other episodes you might like and links for other mental health resources on my website.